Hey kids, nice to see you again. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make these cinnamon rolls. It's not from scratch, but it's from, it's a pretty easy recipe and you can find them in your uh, freezer section at most grocery stores. So uh, yeah, so I just wanna share that recipe for you because it's something I found a few years ago and yeah, it's, it's a nice, easy recipe for you. Uh, so, but, with, but first I have a dad joke for you, so. What, what do you call the same thing as a cinnamon roll? A synonym roll. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna hear a little uh, tap, tap, tapping of my dogs probably while I'm doing this, but uh, it's uh, fairly late at night and I'm planning ahead on these cinnamon rolls. If you've not yet um, found these yet, somebody uh, showed them to me a few years ago and they're a great substitute for going to the trouble of actually making homemade cinnamon rolls. They're called Rhodes uh, cinnamon rolls and they're just in your freezer section uh, and they come with a dozen cinnamon rolls and then they also come with the icing. Okay, so you just take that icing out and you take the take them out. They just look like mini cinnamon rolls, right? Because they haven't risen yet. So, so you're going to want to spray a pan um, and you want to get a pan big enough that can accommodate uh, 12 rolls, right? So here we go. You know, if you're away at college and you're missing some cinnamon rolls, these are a pretty good substitute. You know, they're not exactly the same as homemade, but boy, they're, they're pretty good. So let's see here. And it's just not quite right, but we'll kind of get them equidistant apart. Okay, so we sprayed that pan, we put those in there, and then you just need a piece of plastic wrap. Okay to go over the top. And what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna put that on, and then I actually need to spray this. You wanna spray it with some cooking oil. Okay, you just flip that over, like so, so that when they rise, they don't stick to it. Okay, there you go, something like that. And then we're gonna put these in the freezer uh, overnight. And um, you know, in the morning, when I pull these out, they're probably not gonna be completely risen. Uh, so then you take them out and you, is that the correct use of that word? <laughs> so uh, in the morning, when you take them out, you're probably gonna have to let them set out for probably another hour. Really, if you, if you plan five hours ahead, if you only sleep for five hours, you can do this ahead of time and just leave it out for, you know, five hours at room temperature and they should be, it should be good to go. But I sleep longer than that. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in the fridge uh, for about eight hours. And then in the morning, um, when I come back, I'm sure they're not going to be completely risen, but I'll show you that in the morning. And then uh, I'll show you, we'll let them sit out and show you what that looks like. Throw them in the oven, then you get to see how amazing these are. So anyway, so we'll see you in the morning. Okay. So here we are the next morning and that's what they look like. See, they haven't really risen. So now we're just gonna set them out and let them set for an hour or two. Just keep an eye on them because they really need to double in size before we cook them. So, so here we go, just gonna set those down and we'll come back. Okay, so it's been about, uh, actually about two hours. Um, you know, it's winter, so we keep our whole home fairly cold in the winter. And so it's gonna take a little longer to rise. You know, during the summer, if you set these out, they'll, they'll rise really quick, but you can see, so I'm gonna take, those, take that off and you can see how they, how they rose. And so now I'm just gonna preheat my oven uh, to 350. And once that's preheated, we'll throw those in. and it says 15 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and put the timer on. I'll put it for 18 minutes. Nice. Okay, so that's them. Um, and now you get these icing packets and they have a little uh, tip on them. So you just uh, cut that and then we'll, we'll spread that all around. Um, and you want to knead these, okay? You need to knead them <laughs> uh, because they, you know, they're, they're frozen when you first have them. So um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut that and then we'll, I'll just uh, show you what that looks like. Just kind of spreading it around. I think if you, you, you know, you don't have to cut it here where they have that little 
um, cut out for it. Um, you could just cut a bigger piece, and, but I think it's easier to control and you can get it on pretty much all of them um, by the time you're done. So uh, I'll move the camera and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. You have that little nozzle, see that? So we're gonna cut that and then I'm gonna just spread it around. See, so you can control it a little bit easier. to it right I mean that's a nice uh, makes you look like a professional <laughs> baker really uh, without a whole lot of effort you know uh, I'm sure it's better if you made it from scratch but boy this is a pretty good substitute uh, yeah and it's like I said I've made them before when we've gone fishing uh, and you just set them out overnight and you just got to pay attention to room temperature because if it's cold it won't rise properly so uh, yeah, so it could take a little bit longer and if it's cold, you could probably even just set it out overnight and they could set out for eight hours and still rise if it's, if it's cold. So, um, anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, yeah, so you can get a chance to, to try it out, uh, and yeah, look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> or if you know, if you're at away at college and you miss your mom's homemade uh, cinnamon rolls or you never had homemade cinnamon rolls, this is a good way to start to kind of uh, get your feet wet and learning how to bake. So anyway, yep, I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.